Hey everyone, Matt from soundrolling.com and I wanted to introduce you to the wonders of networking and this is for the International Film School Solaris. So, networking. What is a network? A network is essentially who you know and when you combine who you know with what you know then you're going to go very far because teamwork makes the dream work as if there wasn't too many rhyming things in this already. What we're going to need is we're going to need to have value ourselves and I'll show you that in a, in a variety of different ways and then we're going to need to provide value to other people and that will in turn reward us with more work, more money, more opportunity. It should be said as well that when you think of networking you don't necessarily have to know thousands and thousands of people to have a very successful career. I've been doing this about 10 years now. I've probably done about six, seven hundred projects. Uh, last time I roughly counted my invoices. Um, and so over that time, uh, I've probably only known about 300 people maybe directly that were related to projects that were being made. And so quite a lot were repeat um, people, obviously, um, which is a good sign. You want to know people that are working with people consistently because then obviously they work really well together. So let's focus on you for a second. How are we going to give you leverage? And it's leverage in, in terms of negotiations for rates, in terms of the types of projects you can do. Um, and so we're going to do this in a couple of ways. We're going to um, show off any sort of education and experience. Um, so that can be going, going to a film school. If you go to a film school and people know about that film school, then obviously that is more leverage over a film school people don't know. Um, experience and just a CV in general. So have you done any projects? Um, no matter what, if they're short films, anything like that, the more projects you have, um, the more experience you have. And so the, the more people are willing to invest in you because you're obviously investing in yourself and your career. Um, tangible things like equipment. So I'm personally a sound recorder, production mixer, um, and equipment for me is has been a very kind of integral part and in leverage in terms of going on a on a set because if I can provide stuff already, um, there's a lot of advantage over me looking after my own equipment. Um, there's also advantage for myself in terms of I know my equipment, I maintain my equipment. There's there's perks on both sides, um, but it's it's one of those things that's actually a very tangible thing. So even if you don't have that much experience, um, all of this kind of tangible stuff can be used to help you get uh, more of a rate on those earlier projects. Um, and I'm conscious that a lot of people watching uh, that are just starting out, quite a lot of things are gonna be um, about not only making connections, but also getting work that can sustain you to get more work. So um, I'll keep that in mind throughout as well. So those are probably the three main things. There's also lots of other ways such as demonstrating uh, your knowledge through doing your own YouTube videos, um, this, that, and the other. If you become a source of information uh, for other people, then that qualifies you as someone who actually knows what they're talking about. Because when you're uh, teaching something, it's like the next level from knowing something uh, because there's just a different way that you have to articulate ideas across to other people. So let's just say that we've got all these things covered. Um, I should, I guess, mention some social media and just being out there in general, not necessarily making content as in direct tutorials, but just showing showing up uh, um, and showing that you're out there doing different projects. That has value and leverage in the fact that you are busy and people love busy people. The busy people get busier and busier, funnily enough. So um, with that said, I guess that's five kind of points for getting started there. Then on the kind of flip side of that, we're going to be trying to offer as much value as we can to people in our network. Um, and this can be through recommending them for stuff. So in your network, you might have uh, people that are in the same department as you. You might have people in different departments. Um, you might have people uh, who are even higher up in, in terms of a pyramid structure of like production going down all the way to crew. Um, so having being able to recommend people um, that you like obviously reinforces and builds a relationship more um, with those people and with the people that you're recommending to. So it has a kind of double effect of you're hopefully recommending people that are good, that are going to go do a good job. And then in turn, obviously, they're going to do well, the production is going to go well, and you're going to look good for helping essentially the production. So that's one example. Then 
there is um yeah, there's so many ways. So in terms of just finding new people, because I know that that's quite a big thing if you're starting from zero. So what I did was I was going on job websites. I was going to some film festivals um, and I was basically getting around people that were in the industry. The next thing was then trying to figure out what I wanted to do in terms of did I want to just go into films? Did I want to do a bit more documentary? Did I want to do corporate stuff, commercials, music videos, playback, podcasts? You know, there's a lot of stuff out there that you can do. So now, whereas 10 years ago, um, now it's a lot easier uh, to be able to find those people with social media, such as Instagram, Twitter. Um, so using the search bar, and the hashtags or even locations, such as finding the locations of local studios around you, um, is a great way to then find people that are working in your area, which is even better. Uh, and so then it becomes more, or it becomes easier for you to say, hey, I'm free. Or if someone drops out last minute, you you can step in. Um, there's plenty of people that have had kind of almost life-changing careers from that, um, such as another guy, funnily enough, named Matthew Price, um, in New York, who did uh, Sopranos, stepped in on the uh, on the kind of trailer for it um, before it got signed off, and then they just kept him on for all those seasons. So, um, yeah, b just being available generally and in close proximity is really good. So now there's kind of no more excuses, I guess. There's That is the kind of basic framework to get started. You're going to want to provide yourself with as much value as possible and then in turn provide others with as much value. Um, realizing, like I mentioned earlier, that you don't need to know a million people uh, to make it in this. Um, you just need maybe a couple of hundred and that'll su survive. Well, it's done me very well for 10 years, so um, even just getting started on a couple of films, you probably only need 50 people, maybe. Um, and that's enough for a project a week, isn't it? Two weeks off for Christmas. So realistically, if you're investing as much as you can in people that are doing really good work, um, then that will then that will come back um, kind of tenfold. So I do. I'm very tempted to just keep keep on going and giving examples. But I think that's a great kind of first segment of if you just do those two things um, and then I guess the third thing is just doing them again and again and again and you find that all of your work kind of compounds so as you're helping and recommending one person two person then you get what's called the network effect where essentially you're getting more and more people in your network connected with other people and it just grows and grows and grows and grows like social media itself so with that Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'm sure if you have any comments, questions, there must be some way of uh, getting in touch. And otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Thanks.